Hi, today just want to quickly go through another important function in Excel called date, date values and e date in Excel. Uh, quite every one of you is far, very familiar with what is called date in Excel, uh, date of the day, um, day values, and also. So I'm going to go to each one of these uh, uh, function in Excel. Um, since the syntax for for date is always date. Uh, when you when you look at date, date consists of the years, the month, as well as the date. So all these are required uh, for you to know the dates of any any values. Um, you can have a a kind of a text, a numbers in form of a random numbers, and you want to check the dates of that numbers. You can also do that, uh, but the date must have the years, the month, as well as the date. And, but the date values is a little bit quite different from uh, uh, the date. What the date values is that uh, does is it converts, um, the, the syntax is always date text. What that means is that uh, we convert a date that is stored as a text. If you have a date that is stored as a text to a serial number and the Excel will recognize as a date, that particular date will be converted uh, as a text. Uh, if you have your, if you have this particular date and you want to convert it into a serial numbers that the Excel will definitely understand, you use the date value. Sometimes you can use the date values um, as a means to uh, have a, a, a day in an Excel or in any cell. And it's just for you to be able to, uh, uh, a, a kind of things, functions or formulas that we, uh, people might not be able to recognize that this is a day, but because you use a day values, then it will return. Uh, you can see here, it will return something like this. If you use uh, 1st of January 2008, you can see it will return 29448, a kind of serial numbers uh, that goes with day, day values. But the most important thing is that uh, the day text is also is, is required. Uh, this is like a day text, uh, it's, it's required. For you to be able to convert a day to a serial number where the e date um, the e date is just uh, you pick up the your start date as well as the month uh, only look at your start date and the, and the month what that means is that it represent a start date also represent the date and that has to be entered by using a day functions as a result of other formulas or functions but the month also is also required which is the month numbers of month before and after the start date, a positive values for the month yield or a future date or a negative value yield, a past date. So let's quickly dive in into each one of these uh, syntax formulas in Excel. I might, assuming that I have this, uh, this um, data, uh, a range of cells, we have the product name, description, the cost, the day. Let's say this is a day in the month. And this is the month. Uh, this month can be a form of two means, uh, February, March, uh, April, uh, June, 6th six, six of July. So I just instead of writing June, July, August, September, I just use it, uh, two numbers to represent the month. So eight means August and uh, nine means September. Uh, let's assume that the year is uh, from 2022 up to 2029. Then let's assume that we want to pick up the first point formulas, which is the date. Uh, let's let's remove this and come back to that. Let's start with the first formulas, which is the, we want to look at the dates. We want to uh, tell us the dates. So, um, so we want to tell us from this, can you specify the dates? Uh, on from the day on the 30 uh 02 2023 so what you do you go to the day syntax open the day and what the day say you can see here it will returns the numbers that represent the date in microsoft excel date time code open the parentheses what it's trying to ask you is that where is the year you have to start from the year which is required. Where is the year? The year is 2022, comma, where is the month? The month is uh, 2, which is February, 
comma, and where is the day? The day is 13. So what is giving you is giving you second uh, 13 of February 2022. And this one you can also convert it to a day. Instead of having it in this format, you can right click, go to your um uh go to your uh format cell open that and look and look at the date and you can convert this one to uh the uh the numbers date which will give you this and if you drag down if you, if you drag down so you can see here it will populate that this one is on the 15th september 2029 see so this is how to use a day format and you can also use a day format let's assume in that uh, um, you have the date. Uh, let's assume that you have the date, and you have what year? Uh, if you say the year is uh, two thousand and twenty-two, comma, and uh, what is the month? The month is. Um, let's assume that you change the month to uh, March, comma. Uh, what are the date in the year in the month? Uh, you have twenty-six, and you close. You see, it's still going to give you the same. Uh, you can see here, it's still going to give you the same date, which is on the 26th of March 2022. And imagine, take for example, I want to add, um, can I add um, any 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 amount here, whether it's going to allow that? Yeah, you can see here, initially it was 26 and the day in the month you've added uh three days to it and it will give you 29 imagine if i want to add um, uh, to this date i want to add um, uh, 45 you see you have changed the date immediately to um, to uh, 10 of may 2022 and if you drag this one down the period of the date we because you are only using this syntax that wouldn't change and here, if, imagine if you decided I want to add uh, 30 days. So it will change this date. You can see here uh, from, because you're adding 30 days. So it's going to add 30 days to the numbers of days here. So that will now give you 15th of March. If you leave that 30 days and you run it up, is, the numbers of days will also be changed with 30. If we change this one to 45, so you will start counting from 45 from the date of 26. So we add 45 to 26, and that will give you on the 10th of May, 2022. So this is how to use the day functions. You can either use it in form of using uh, two iPhones and uh, in this kind of a format, or you use the syntax, which is this. So this how two ways on how you can use a date in Excel. And also take for example, uh, imagine if you have this, um, let's assume in that, uh, let's assume that we want to check whether it is possible. Um, let's assume in that I have, um, let's assume in that I just have dates and I want to link it to this. It's not gonna work because it, it doesn't actually understand the syntax. So this must take the year the month as well as the uh the year the month as well as the days and you can increase that or can also decrease that you can decrease that if you say minus 30 minus 30 it will bring it back to uh 40. you can also do all kind of uh, uh any additional information here to add to the date to structure the day and you can also make this ones a constant functions uh by using the uh, it's just using it as a constant function. So this one wouldn't change. So it depends on how you want to use. So this how to uh this how to use uh this how to use a date in, in Excel. And let's quickly go into another functions. Let's add this high this one. And it's site. Let's hide this. Now let's go to another functions called um uh, uh, valid validate uh this is called let's go let's now start using what we call valid uh date values so we said that what date values is that it converts a 
a date. We have a date and it converts it into a kind of serial numbers. Uh, a kind of serial numbers that uh, is only the next set that will understand as serial numbers. So let's assume in that uh, I have the values. Use these values, open the syntax, uh, the, uh, the, the parentheses, open the parentheses. You can see here uh, the date type, type. What is the day text? So there are two ways you can do this. Uh, I will show you the two ways. The first one, you can um, decide to say, look, um, the day that is already in exists, which is this particular day. And you can see if you, if you, if you link into this day, uh, which is the day text, it will convert that 26th of February, 2022. It will convert it into a serial numbers. You see, he said, no. He said, look, yeah, I don't understand what you're trying to do. Um, because he doesn't actually understand what I'm trying to do here. So I go back again. Take off that. Um, let's assume in that. Uh, so day values, what is the day test? So it's telling me what is the day test. Let's assume in that I also want to link it to this. The day test is saving no. So let's go back again and let's go back to uh, the date values. So what we, we can do, um, we can say, look, um, I want to link these day values to, let's assume in that uh, I have uh, link it to that. This, which is the, and you press enter, it will say no as well. So, um, so what what we have to do to do that is you must go to the day values and remember that you must have two, uh, uh, two upper uh, open. Um, to iPhone. So, what are the dates you want to convert? You want to convert this particular day, which is 26th of August 2006. So, you can have to type 26th of August 2022. You must have to type it and you close it and you say enter. You can see it has already converted that to 26th of August. And if Convert this ones to a numbers. The numbers. This is the this is the numbers that the computers understand. So this is the numbers that you understand. So you can see here you have that conversions. You can also do different kind of format. Instead of having, uh, you go to the date values, and you can also use different formulas. Let's assume that you have thirteen of 01 2022 and close with the parentheses it will also give you this four and something and this is the date the kind of serial numbers that the computer really understand and imagine if i want to link instead of having this i just want to link this with day month and years and so what you need to do um, you go to your what you need to do. Uh, that's the first one. Uh, let's assume that I want to do another function here. Uh, you go to your your day values. You go to your day values. So this is the first one. You link it, and you have to say at at. Then you have two slash two at slash two then at second which is the month then link it to at slash that then same thing at and link it to the numbers of years uh, and you close that. You see, you have, you have this 
serial numbers and if you drag down you see it's going to give you different serial numbers that only the computers understand this is the day values as long as you stick to this and this references each one of these data so this how to use the, uh, day values in excel because what it does it just convert the date that is stored in the text into a serial number so this how to use a day values in excel and the last one which i wish we want to uh, uh, go with you guys is let's hide this so i can have a space is how to use the last one which is the e-date uh, what e-date does we know that e-dates we must have the start date and the month so if you quickly go into e-date the formula e-date on excel open the parentheses what is the start date uh, let's assume that the start date is on the 13th and the month is what uh, february and you close that it's giving you 73 days it's that 73 days if i want to link it to years edit if i want to link it to years it will say no so because what edit is doing is 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 saying look from the month of january up to the 13th of february you only have 773 days and this e date himself imagine if you want to add plus 30 days you will have 984 so what is 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 adding so if you less it from let's assume that you have minus it will give you new because it doesn't recognize a negative values so if you remove that amount and you close it again, it will give you 73. And if you drag down, you see, so it's going to tell you uh, when you start counting from January up to the 15th of 2000 for that particular year, this is what you're going to have when you are using your e-date. And uh, a lot of these e-date formulas, uh, mostly a lot of them, they use it uh, for month yield uh, for any future date. So, uh, so you this how to use e-date in Excel. So, hope you guys enjoy this training, and I will speak to you in the next training. Have a great day. Bye for now.